How are you doing today? Uh, we are discussing shaft length today. We're going to need a level of maturity here in this video before we even move on. All right, <laughs> here we go. Okay, so the biggest question uh, we get is, uh, does uh, size matter in your shaft? Uh, and we're talking about an inch and a half. I mean, in some cases that makes all the difference in the world. Again, leave, let's just focus on golf here for, for a few minutes, all right? What happens uh, if your shaft is too short? Or do you need a longer shaft? All right, look, seriously, like what is the result between this one and this one? Is this one better than this one? Or does this one perform better than this one? We're gonna find out right now. Seriously. First thing, we're gonna measure our shafts, okay? The, the big one is 44 and a half inches. Pretty standard length. The small one is 43 inches. So an uh, inch and a half shorter than the long one. Ultimately, we want more fairways, more consistency, and good distance. But we want it, uh, if we can get more distance, that's better than less distance. So longer is better if you're in the fairway. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit a bunch of shots with the short guy, short shaft, and then we're gonna hit a bunch of shots with the long shaft. And we're gonna look at the groupings of these two and see which one performs best. And uh, in case you're wondering, these two shafts are the exact same weight, both 60 grams, both stiff flex shafts, and uh, they're, they're like identical shafts, basically, as far as the characteristics of each one. So it's not gonna make, it's not like I'm hitting a 75 gram and a 60. No, they're both 60, they're both stiff, they're both good. One's just longer than the other. Both will be with the uh, Titleist TS3, and we're hitting in the A1 setting, A1. Short shaft is first. All right, rock and roll. Shorty is up first. That's what we got. What I'm gonna do is gonna hit 10, 10, 10, 10, so I don't wear myself out. Uh, long shaft, A1 setting, here we go. All right, last 10. Man, hitting 40 drives, that's tiring. But I've only hit 30. <laughs> I'm already tired. Here we go. All right, let's look at the results. All right, with the short shaft, here are my results. Average club head speed, 102. Average total distance, 285 with an average carry of 255. Average smash factor 1.48. I hit every fairway except one. I went in the bunker. And there are mostly, you know, obviously between that 280 and 300 marker, 285. Pretty good. Um, not bad. It's really good. Take that all day. Let's 20 to 19 drives is what it picked up. So 19 of them. 18 out of 19 fairway. Some spun, some went high, some went low, but for the most part, for a generous fairway, we hit all the fairways. Well, we hit, we missed one. All right, now the long shaft. What do we got? Again, 19 drives. I thought I hit 20. I hit, a few didn't register, so I had to keep hitting, but 19 registered. One missed the fairway. I missed left of the bunker. That's that snap hook that kind of gets me both times. Just my miss was a little bigger with the longer shaft. Uh, one on the edge here, my average distance was 288. So with an inch and a half, I got uh, three, three yards more distance on average. My average carry was 260 and my average club head speed was 104.7. I got a couple 
um, up around the 106 mile an hour range. Two drives, looks like went over 300. Average smash factor is 1.47. Here are the two side by side, so you can kind of see the difference. Yellow being short shaft, purple being long shaft. So then just looking at the down the line view, purple, yellow, your misses are gonna be bigger with the longer shaft. And it's all gonna come down to what you feel most confident with. I've used this shaft a number of times and it felt really good. I just wanted a little bit more club head speed to have the potential to hit some farther drives. And so I went back to the standard length driver, 44 and a half, and that's really been good for me. So most people have the standard length driver is 44 and a half inches long, okay? If you're wild and crazy, like if you have a high swing speed, I would recommend you go an inch and a half to two inches shorter and see if you can get more control. If that's something that's really plaguing you, uh, finding fairways. Because you, if you hit that high spinny one and your club head speed's 110 miles an hour, forget it. It's out of here. Left is gone. Whereas if you have the shorter shaft, your 110 is going to be a little bit slower and it's not going to be so dramatic of a miss. All right. So in general, the shorter shaft is going to help you find the fairway more often. The longer shaft, well, that, that you get the long ball with the longer shaft. There you go. So that's your little analysis for short shaft versus long shaft. Love you guys. Stay focused out there, all right? We'll see you in the next video.